So write the title of today's lecture in organic materials. Can I ask you what are inorganic materials and what are organic materials? How will you distinguish between organic and inorganic compounds? So what is this? This is a periodic table and there are 118 elements recognized by IOPEC, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Go to website and collect this periodic table. And there are 118 elements and one element is called carbon in group 14 and second period, the carbon. And based on carbon, we classify compounds as two types, organic and inorganic. Compounds which contain carbon, again, compounds which contain carbon are called organic compounds. So we can give examples, methane, it contain carbon. If we write the formula, so this is a molecule, atoms form bond with the other atoms. You can see one carbon atom form uh, bond with four hydrogen atoms. So this is the structure of methane. And we see carbon is here. So it will be a called organic compound. But water represented by H2O, it is not a organic compound. Why it is not a organic compound? Because, because there, is no carbon. there is no carbon, no carbon. Sodium chloride, it is not organic. C2H5OH, commonly known as ethanol, it is an organic compound because it contains carbon. Compounds which contain carbon are called organic and compounds which do not contain carbon are called inorganic compounds. These are not organic. These are inorganic, H2 and sodium chloride. Methane, it is organic. And ethanol, it is also organic. Most of the textile fibers are organic. And that's why organic chemistry is also important for textile or fashion chemist. We are not discussing organic compounds today. In next class, we'll discuss it. Carbon form a large number of compounds bonding with small groups of atoms. So what are the other atoms? Nitrogen, phosphorus, oxygen, sulfur, fluorine, fluorine, bromine, and hydrogen. There are billions of compounds and millions are studied. Explore it to innovate new materials in fashion design. So read organic chemistry books. But today we'll discuss inorganic compounds. So this is the definition. Compounds that do not contain carbon, or which are not organic are called inorganic compounds. This compound will not also contain this bond, carbon-carbon bond or carbon-hydrogen bond. There are some compounds, though they contain carbon, are not called organic. There are some exceptions. Amra ita monerak bo je kichu joger modhe carbon thaka shakto tadar ke organic na boli inorganic bola hai. So that's why the second definition is important. The carbon oxides. Is there any carbon carbon? No. Is there yes. any carbon hydrogen? No. So that's no, why it follows the second definition. It is uh, not organic, though it contains carbon. It is inorganic. Okay. Importance of inorganic chemistry. Inorganic chemistry is a highly practical area in science. So fire is the application of most of the paints contain pigment and pigment are inorganic because they will not contain any carbon. Inorganic compounds are used to produce fertilizer. Glass, it contains no carbon, no carbon, only silicon and oxygen. So glass is not an organic company, it is inorganic. Cement is also inorganic. The most of the important chemicals comes from inorganic materials. Inorganic chemistry highly related to the economy of a country. The growth of economy of USA, so they manufacture inorganic materials. So this is the scenario. So you can see a pie chart. Different types of inorganic materials are used in different fields. So this is the percentage you can see. Collect the question. This is sodium atom and this is fluorine. What is covalent bond and what is ionic bond? So ionic bond means bond between ions and covalent bond means bond that formed by friendship, not by friendship, bond that formed by sharing of electrons. Okay, so you can see sodium chloride, it is an ionic compound 
means it contain ion sodium ion and fluoride ion one is positive and another one is negative and positive yeah. charged ion is called cations and negatively charged ion is called anion a simple answer what is ionic compound it will be ionic compounds contain ions cations and anions they contain two types of atom one is metal another one is non metal any compounds you can explain with sodium chloride easily if there will be a metal atom which will donate electron to a non metal atom can you see that there is a donation of electrons after the process you see sodium lost its electrons and chlorine accepted the electrons donated by sodium so sodium attached electron tag korlo and chlorine attached electron grohon korlo ebhabe sodium positively charged ebong chlorine negatively charged sometime a bond can be formed without donation or without accepting electron so for example hydrogen it contain one electron in the uh, outermost shell and there are seven electrons in the outermost shell of chlorine and we see both atom come closer these two electrons now shared by both atoms so now these two electrons exist between the nuclei between the two atoms so these two atom will be called shared electrons this will be represented by a bond sign when we represent any molecule using this bond sign a line to indicate that there is a bond so this means water contain two covalent bond between oxygen and hydrogen so how this bond are formed by sharing of electrons okay. you will see this is the bond sharing up electrons occur here and also you can see both atom come closer and they share their electrons now it is easy to search in google the structure of any substance or any molecule and you can easily identify which one is covalent and which one is ionic for example if i draw sodium chloride if i write sodium chloride say that it is a ionic compound because there are charges positive charge and Yes. sodium chloride is an ionic compound according to our definition it contain ions and hcl is a covalent compound and we see covalent bond is represented by bond sign by represented by smooth line so we can see the difference apart the definition bond between metal and non metal atom is called ionic bond this compound contain ions cations and anions and covalent compound form bond formed by sharing of electron ionic compound is highly polar but covalent compound polarity is very low and there is no definite shape of ionic compounds and covalent compound have definite shape melting point and boiling point of ionic compound is very high but this is opposite uh, so melting point and boiling point is very low this is a search engine means you can type so to solve this question double salt use any search engine and write double salt structure or chemical properties so we'll do that to solve this question so i'll not solve this question directly so this is an assignment for you so find out the formula so double salt is also chemically known as sodium chloride sodium chloride so why is the formula So this is the chemical formula it contains sodium and chlorine mm -hmm. so what are the information necessary for you now application these are the uses so write any two we have solved question 6.2 this is an assignment use website search engine use your own brain to find the answer inorganic compounds or inorganic materials are classified acid base and salts try to understand the meaning of acid base and salts so acid is a molecule molecule like that when it react with water so this is the water medium it gives hydrogen ion so hcl is an acid it gives hydrogen ion base will give hydroxide ion in water hydrogen ion er arekta naam hocche proton ar jeta base bolbo ba khar bolbo সেখানে আমরা দেখো যে হাইড্রোক্সাইড আয়ন উৎপন্ন হবে ইজ देयर এনি হাইড্রোজেন আয়ন অর হাইড্রোক্সাইড আয়ন ফাইন এ সল ডিসলভ নো देयर ইজ এ ক্যাটায়ন্স 
there is an ion so cations and anions are produced when salt dissolve in water so acid gives hydrogen ion base give hydroxyl ion and salt give no hydrogen no hydroxyl ion but give a cation and a anion so acid The substance that produces hydrogen ion is plus, or it is also called a proton. Hydrogen ion is also called proton. So in some books you will see definition is like that, and it it gives proton when dissolved in water. And you can write an equation to represent an acid. Acid always gives proton. A base gives a hydroxide ion. There will be no proton. Salts are ionic compounds that contain cations and anions. So, what is cation? Cation means a positive ion. Negative anions means a negative ion. The very simple definition: define acid, base, and salts with examples. If you are interested to know the properties of acid and base, maybe there are some properties. Acid uh, so taste down blue litmus rate. सिट के शनत्त करा जनो ब्लू लिट पर व्यवहार करा है और बेस के आईडेंटिफाई करा जनो हमरा की कुत्ते बारी जब उन कोनो शैम्पू इटे सिट ना की बेस करन जिदे उत्ती मात्रा सिट है उत्ती मात्रा जिदे हरी हो है ताले तो आपके कुत्ते कर बे वाशिंग ऑफ़ डिपेंड ऑन पीएच ड्राइंग तो डिपेंड ऑन पीएच एंड आल्सो सम कॉस्मेटिक्स � Your skin is also pH sensitive. So, the fashion designer has to tell us about pH sample. We need to know that pH is very important. The solution is acidity and alkalinity and basicity. So, acidity means that it is only and basicity means that it is only. So, pH is used to define acidity and basicity of any solution, aqueous solution. And very simple. Now, pH meter is available, just like a pen. So, if you have a solution in the middle, you can see pH meter is very reading. If you see pH is higher than 7, it will be called a basic solution. If lower than 7, it will be called an acid solution. So, pH can vary from 0 to 14. So, this is called pH scale. So, expressing the acidity or alkalinity or basicity of a solution, 0 to 14 is called pH scale. 0 to 14 is the same as the pH scale. The pH scale is the same as the pH scale. If the pH scale is the same as the pH scale, then the pH scale is the same as the pH scale. The pH scale is the same as the pH scale. Not an acid, not a base. But if pH is lower than 7, it will be called an acid. Near to 0, strong acid. And near to 7, रक्त देखो ब्लाड एर पीएच मान कत Seven point four. Is it acidic or basic? Yes, sir, neutral. Not neutral. Seven point four is greater than seven. All acid which contain carbon are weak acid. For example, uh, hydro cyanic acid also contain carbon. Then hydrochloric acid. Thus, so these are the examples. Sadar to organic acid gula. Then formic acid. H C W H. It is formic acid. Pipra to thake. फॉर्मिक या शब्दों दिखाएँ आज चाहे फॉर्मिक है सिर्फ, ओके? स्ट्रॉंग इसी डे नाम गुलो नाम मने रखते बारों, जब उन हाइड्रोक्लोरिक है सिर्फ, नाइट्रिक है सिर्फ, साल्फ्यूरिक है सिर्फ, मने के ये है तो जानो, एन स्ट्रॉंग बेस, सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एंड पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड, ताले क्लोरीन थे के हाइड्रोजन टा आला द हुए जाते हैं इटा ज्योति दूर तो कोट बे बाज ज्योति बिशी कोट बे तो अपन छेड़ काम रोबले स्ट्रॉंग एसिड आर जिता वीक एसिड शेकन हाइड्रोजन टा शॉट बी जित होते चाइना बाप भंगते चाइना ये जो बॉन्ड हाइड्रोजन के साथे जो क्लोरीन एड बॉन्ड हमला देख 
So completely uh, strong acid will dissociate completely, but weak acid will not dissociate completely. So this is the dif difference or definition. This is the answer because write short note on pH scales. So what do you understand by hard water and soft water? Hard water will contain high concentration of calcium and magnesium ion, and soft water will contain low concentration of calcium and magnesium ion. Okay. So soft water means low concentration. A water which contains low concentration of calcium and magnesium, very low. And amount is 0 to 60 ppm parts per million. So or milligram per liter put the barrel. She got to have a group of the data called the milligram for calcium and magnesium. She got a lecture mission. It's a tag place. It's a camera. We saw to order. Our data actually be sure to put away. She got a hard orders.